Motorcycles. So why am I talking about chainsaws? Well, that's because I don't want to be a mechanic anymore. I want to be a lumberjack. But seriously, a lot of people have chainsaws and their little two-stroke motors are pretty sensitive, so I'm going to show you how to take care of them. Nothing's more annoying than a chainsaw that won't start. So I'll show you what you need to do to keep them running smooth. First, make sure you got gas in it. And you got to make sure you got the right kind. You notice this 40 to 1 sign here. That doesn't mean that the odds are 40 to 1 against you starting a chainsaw. It means that you need to use 40 to 1 two-stroke oil in the gas. It's easy to get that mixture. You just get one little bottle of this 40 to 1 oil. It says on the back it's for one gallon. Put a gallon of gas in the tank. Then take the top off and pour the oil inside. Then shake it around to mix all the oil and gas. It only takes about 30 seconds. Then check the oil reservoir. It's not for the engine, but it's for the chain. If you don't have any lubrication, the chain will wear out and it'll bind. You don't want the chain binding. The lubrication will make it smooth and keep it from rusting. Now we'll get to the motor itself. You just need to unscrew the cover. And when you're done unscrewing, pull the cover off. The first thing you want to check is a spark plug. Just pull it off and take it off the engine. Just unscrew it and pull it out. You'll notice the plug's a little dark, but most chainsaws run a little rich. Don't worry about that. You want to check the gap. So you measure it with a little gap checker, and it's about 25 thousandths of an inch, which is right. If it's too wide, it won't fire right. And if you're worried, hey, these things only cost a couple of bucks, go to an auto parts store and buy another one. Now, chainsaws are generally used for cutting wood, so you get wood chips all over the place. You want to make sure that you clean all the wood chips out of the cover and pay special attention to the filter itself. You can clean it every once in a while and blow dry it with a hair dryer so the chips don't get inside the carburetor. And speaking of the carburetor, they've got three adjustments, but at least the cover tells you which is which. The left is low, the right is high, and the top one is the throttle. The low and the high are exactly the same. You turn them in until they get reasonably snug, not really tight, but snug. Then you turn them out one and a half turns. Half, one, and a half. And then it's ready to put the top back on and use it. Make sure your air filter is in place before you put the top on so it goes in the right place. Now you're ready for just about anything. Well, maybe not everything. This is Scotty Kilmer helping you crank it up. And remember, if you have any car questions, just visit scottykilmer.com. <laughs>